All right, now let's get into this topic. Isn't this crazy? On Daily News. Look at this. UCLA Professor 47. Let me reload this. Get that, whatever, this share thing off the screen there. I hate that crap. UCLA Professor 47 suffers sudden death during recreational mummification bondage in sex dungeon of 62-year-old Hollywood execs L.A. dungeon basement. So, how do we know that this was really what that was? Doran George, 47, suffered a sudden death during recreational mummification. Because that's what we all do, right? You know, some people go to a park. Some people, you know, might throw a frisbee in their yard. Some people play golf, racquetball, badminton, handball. And then some people do mummification. Okay, I don't think there's anything unusual about that whatsoever. Okay. But yeah, I mean, uh, who doesn't do recreational mummification? I don't know how someone being mummified could possibly be involved in anything recreational. You see what I'm saying? He was in a plastic wrap and gaffer's tape. Chasey's work as a television business affairs executive at Hollywood agency, William Morris Endeavor. He is known in the, uh, I think this is that sadomasochism community as Master Skip. Mm. Master indeed. A man died in his sex dungeon basement. <laughs> All right. A man died in the sex dungeon basement. See, nothing good is coming out of a story that starts with, and it has the phrase, sex dungeon basement in it, okay? That never works out well. A man died in his sec in the sex dungeon basement of a top Hollywood executive while he was being mummified. Because of course, when you're being mummified, you're expecting to live. Doran George, 47, suffered a sudden death during recreational mummification. You know, it's weird. I just joined a gym recently, and I think I saw that right below the yoga class. It was like basketball, yoga, and recreational mummification. <laughs> Come on! All right. Bondage at the Los Angeles home of Skip Chasey on November 22nd, according to the LA. This, so this story isn't like today, you know. I don't know why it's just being put out today. Though. George, a British-born UCLA professor and dancer, was found in the 62-year-old's dungeon in Los Feliz. As in, you know, Feliz Navidad. See, again, what are the odds of that? There was no criminal component found at the scene when uh, police were investigated. But, uh, you know, when you look at a picture like that, doesn't that just ooze criminal uh, criminality there? I don't know. You know, call me crazy. He is known in the BDSM community as Master Skip and has given more than 250 different speeches and workshops on the topic. Chasey, who is co-founder of People of Leather Among You, Play, has the motto, blood may be thicker than water, but leather is thicker than blood. Ah, ha, 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 these people are, they're such a hoot. Gray, don't knock it till you try it, okay? A spokesperson with WME said to page six, while we were unaware of the circumstances surrounding the personal matter until now, we understand that the police file is closed and no charges were brought. With other facts developed, we will reevaluate the situation and determine any appropriate actions to take. 
Right. I don't even see where his head is. Like, where's his the head? Do you guys, you know, you see what I'm looking at there? I, I guess apparently, <clears throat> in recreational mummification, the, the head removal is also required, and then they all just get along and have a good laughter afterwards. Chase will be keeping his job with the company, you know, because, you know, look at nobody else would keep their job. But see, he's in a certain, let's say, political sphere that that kind of stuff's just OK. There's nobody, nobody else I know would keep their job at any other business if they were having uh, sadomasochism parties where they mummified somebody and they ended up dying. OK. Can any of you picture keeping your job in that situation? Death, it's, this is today too. So they kept this story covered for like seven months, it sounds like. Wow. Death in a Hollywood sex dungeon, how a top agency executive's mummification ritual ended in tragedy. Wouldn't you think that any mummification ritual would end in death of the person being mummified? I mean, just a... It's just a thought. I, I don't know. For years, WME VP Skip Chasey has led an openly double life as a master in LA's BDSM community. But a role-playing encounter involving plastic wrap went horrifically wrong. <laughs> I mean, listen, how could it not, right? You mummified the guy. Hello? For nearly three decades, Skip Chasey... Well, Gray, you just don't understand what, what they're doing, you see. Because the act of um, mummification actually involves a correlation between the, um, the mindset of the individual with the explicit uh, notification of the other party that they'll be using saran wrap to not only convey their sexual desires of having sex with a mummy but at the same time um, allow the other person to feel a sense of domination at the same time okay uh yeah i i, I don't agree i'm sorry that's something tragic for nearly three decades, Skip Chasey, one of Hollywood's top dealmakers, led a delicate balancing act of, of an existence. One Sunday last November, it all came tumbling down. Didn't it come tumbling down prior to that? I mean, the fact that you were even doing all that, wasn't it tumbling down then? That something tragic had occurred became known to his many friends the following morning when on november 20th 2017 chasey posted a troubling facebook message i just experienced a traumatic loss of a mummy he said i'm kidding he didn't say tragic loss that necessitates my having to withdraw from the matting crowd and grieve for a while he wrote i'll be back i promise you but for now, I must tend to myself and a few others as well. <gasps> oh, Jesus, get over yourself. The Post received 130 notices of support and condolences. No one questioned what happened or whom. Yeah, of course, right? Certainly, none of the messages expressed even a, an inkling that the traumatic loss in question occurred as a result of a sex ritual gone horribly awry, one of which Chasey oversaw the mummification of a partner in plastic wrap, who then proceeded to expire in front of him. Very interesting. How did, I wonder how, how did he sell this to the cops as being um, like, oh, hey, nothing to see here, folks. You know, that kind of thing. Like the cops just went, yeah, okay, that, that's, uh, that makes sense. Sure. Yeah, just, yeah, I just saw another one last week. It was hilarious. There was 
You know, this guy had six mummies. Uh, only one died, so we gave him, we even cut him a bigger break than you. Of course, the one dumb mummy that you have didn't make it, so... In his professional life, Chasey62 is a senior VP business development at William Morris Endeavor. A position he's held... He probably has a lot of dirt on a lot of people. He's probably... The reason he's keeping his job is he's probably had a few of these encounters with some of his employees, if you know what I'm saying. Like, maybe his boss. Right? That's just a, a theory out there. I'm not saying that's fact. Okay? It just seems odd that you would keep your job after mummifying somebody in a, a UCLA professor, nonetheless, and having them die right in front of your face. Shows a really... Uh, I think one thing that you can take from this is that it shows a lack of judgment. Can you all agree with that? Let's see. But in his personal time, Chasey is a master skip. A respected figure in the Los Angeles leather scene. <laughs> wow. That just oozes respect. You know what I'm saying? Google is non... Okay. Google his gnome de dungeon as dozens of links and videos turn up, including an entry on leatherpedia.com, which provides some biographical highlights. You notice how the story is now just really excited about that part of it, really wants to talk him up a little bit. Oh, God, look at this. Uh, first San Francisco, 1978, then the New York, 1981, and finally laid roots in Los Angeles in 1992, where he fully immersed himself in the gay bondage scene. Okay. While his prepossessing Midwestern looks are far from the Tom of Finland ideal, Chasey has fashioned himself into a sadomasochistic, spiritualistic, and community leader. Look how they're just so excited about this guy. God, you just sound like he's a hero of yours, but for the mummification that went wrong. You see what I'm saying? Like, listen, put it, let, 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 let. he is incredible. This guy is one of the best. Let, let me ask you this. Uh, Michael Jordan's a great basketball player, right? If tomorrow, we, it turns out, his wife died in his bedroom from mummification, would you still go, would you even think about Jordan anymore in terms of basketball? You'd probably think, God, do you hear about how he mummified that lady? Oh, my God. Maybe Jordan transcends that. I'm just saying. That's ridiculous. Well, I mean, look at it down here. It says, while his, you know, uh, so down here it says, merge second period. His resume touts a starring role in the 2005 documentary Pup, which chronicles his involvement in the pup play scene in which a handler and a human puppy interact for sexual gratification. His certification as a grief counselor, how can the hell could this guy have anything to do with anybody else's psychological problems? His certification as a grief, grief counselor and his invitation to address as Master Skip a crowd of nearly one million at the Millennium March on Washington. It's an impressive testament to Hollywood open-mindedness, and none of these pursuits has ever bothered Ari Emanuel or any of Chasey's other powerful bosses at WME. Well, that's a damn fact, isn't it? Where he has earned a reputation for being a gifted negotiator, an all-around nice guy, other than when he's wrapping somebody in saran wrap and they die in the mummification process. 